in favor of the move in this matchup. I think that's most, is that the most one-sided we've ever seen? Have we ever uh, seen a single digit? Maybe I was just confused because I think Shaman's a pink pride these days. <laughs> I, I really hope that they're running the same strategy. It's one thing to just steal the composition, but if you don't know the strategy, most importantly, Repentance on the Paladin and Mind Bomb on the Shadow Priest. These are the talents that were being run by Valet and Mimpoike from the team Change My Mind in Europe. So if those aren't selected for the team of the move, I think that's what actually makes them beat, especially the Mistweaver variant of a melee cleave. They need to be able to deny Way of the Crane. So there's Mind Bomb. Wizk is running that talent. They need to continue the chain off the Mind Bomb. They don't manage to do so. Zach has managed to portal to safety. Pico actually shadow steps behind the Fist of Fury Turbo Fist Honor Talent to stun him, forcing Colo's hand. Life Cocoon trades, but it may not be enough for the vendetta pressure that Peekaboo is dealing out. Zach reconnects onto WizK along with Valido. Curious to see when they engage with the Death Grip, if they're going to pull Absturge into the fight whatsoever. Absturge holding out needs to try and use Repentance to Way of the Crane. If they can prevent Way of the Crane, then easily the move can find victory. Zach under pressure once again. Absturge moves in. Let's see, is he playing Repentance? He goes for the Hammer of Justice. They go for the Mind Bomb. No repentance. There's repentance being casted, but interrupted by Valido. So they use silence instead. Zach has had solid positioning. They used a blessing of protection on the touch of karma, and Zach instantly evacuated. Waste. So it may have not been necessary. Zach stunned up again for another assault, but grapple weaponed onto Peekaboo means that he can't really attack. Finally, a death grip on Absturge, pulling the entire team together for a big assault here. Leg sweep into leg sweep. They're going all in for a push onto WizK. WizK uses greater fade to immune some pressure on that attack. Absturge recovers likely with Avenging Wrath, although still crowd controlled and may have to disperse as well. That would be devastating. He does. Two cooldowns and one push. Solid advance by Never Lucky. That was honestly a giant waste of the Blessing of Protection. Zach was completely fine. He pre-ran away. Peekaboo was not in pursuit. WizK wasn't in a position either. They just kind of threw out the Blessing of Protection as just like a default trade, but it just wasn't ideal. Now they don't have it available later on in the game. If Touch of Karma does roll up, Zach though in a little bit of trouble. Diffuse Magic's already been used. Sap onto Kolo. Hammer of Justice on the Trinket. Kolo with a nice life cocoon, keeping Zach alive, but Zach is really vulnerable. You can take a look. He doesn't have a single defensive cooldown left. They can take him down. Zach has to hold on just another 10 seconds, but there's just great pressure here in favor of the move. But if Zach can hold on till that touch of karma, there's no blessing and protection for the next push. And I think Never Lucky will be able to survive. Yeah, and if they do, they've got a pretty big mana lead. I do see a smoke bomb available, and Zach has no trinket, so potentially Peekaboo pulls that out of his back pocket takes game one as a result i do think that the paladin rogue priest is favored in this matchup but if you throw away that advantage the blessing of protection and don't get a kill with it then perhaps you do fall too far behind to find victory blind attempt here big push from the move to close out game number one how is zach going to respond to the pressure well touch of karma and transcendence away from the fight is a pretty good option but colo is still currently crowd controlled furthermore into a repentance any more and this may be enough to take down Zach. Doesn't look like they have any. Colo now stabilizing the team and recovering. I would like to see Colo use the way of the crane when he's on crowd control, diminishing returns, make a push. Nice grip into triple stuns. These are high value plays from Never Lucky. They still keep themselves in the match as a result of these death grips from Valido. They get the dispersion from WizK, which is an important objective. They get further pressure to run Absurge out of mana. They actually switch some of their attention to Absturge, trying to pressure him maybe away from a repentance. Absturge looks for it, doesn't get it just yet. Ring of nice. Peace interrupts it. They stall it out, and Colo can avoid the crowd control. It's all about protecting Colo from crowd control and stabilizing long enough to pressure down Absurge's mana bar. Yeah, but Zach, he has his trinket rotating back up. He has the fortifying brew. He has the diffuse magic. A lot of tools available at his disposal. And don't don't forget, when Change My Mind went up against Never Lucky, it was a very close series. Never Lucky certainly has had time to go back, analyze those games, and make some adjustments. And they've been doing a really good job defensively. The move is running out of time. Absurd, he just uses Divine Shield. There's no blessing of protection. WizK, no dispersion. If Never Lucky can keep up this pressure, they can certainly close out the game. They just have to hold on a little bit longer. Anti Magic Zone trades out on this attempt. Zach's going to be able to survive, spamming out Vivifies on himself. Colo into a full sap. He has the trinket, he has the cocoon, but Zach just preemptively runs away. And now Valido is the only vulnerable target. Wiz can peekaboo. They have to try to make something happen right here, right now. But Valido, he has so many of his defensives left. Death Strike just going to heal through so much of this damage. 
and he will keep himself alive. Now entering Dampening a little bit later on, is definitely about to become a more vulnerable target. Yeah, Dampening has just stepped foot, but they make a swap to Peekaboo. He's got no Glare's Medallion. He barely survives the stunlock combo. Both him and Whiskey in a lot of trouble. Absturge has a lot of work ahead of him, and I'm wondering what his Beacon of Light usage is. If you heal a target with Beacon of Light, you get refunded on some of your mana, and I don't think that he should be this far behind overall in the matchup on the Paladin, so perhaps some mismanagements on the Beacon of Light healing output. He needs to find a drink. I mean, this game could go on for some time now at this point. Touch of Karma exchanged, but overlapped, but they don't seem to care. They're making a big push. They still have Peekaboo and Whiskey under pressure. Absturge's healing cooldowns have subsided. It's going to be increasingly difficult for him to recover. Yeah, Polo moves forward with the way of the crane, but maybe he overstayed his welcome. He's got no trinket. He's in a hammer of justice. In the, is there any follow-up? There's a full blind. Zach's in a lot of trouble. He manages to, with a beautiful transcendence to escape, but for how long? Peekaboo in hot pursuit. Ring of Peace gets mismanaged there by Zach, but he runs through it, and Peekaboo gets left all behind. Full repentance, but Zach just keeping himself alive. Good asphyxiate, good backup by Valido, and I think Never Lucky's bought enough time. Colo should be able to get back to Zach, and now the uh, Never Lucky can move forward and put some pressure on the move who's running out of mana and running out of time. Yeah, Zach, the young blood of the tournament scene, just 16 years old, able to avoid a lot of attacks and predict the move, predict every move from the move and stay alive throughout this match long enough to run Absurge out of mana. So as a result of his good defensive positioning, they're looking to take game number one. Void shift available, but relying on blessing and protection for now. It's a bit of a risky move. He's so low on health. Manages to recover without overcommitting, but still falling behind on pressure. It's not really any openings. Now they cannot use Blessing and Protection on Touch of Karma. What do you really do? Dampening isn't high enough to kill the Death Knight, and Zach's on top of his defensive play, avoiding the fight time and time again. He uses Touch of Karma to 1v1 Peekaboo around the corner. Zach then pulls back into center field to go after Wizke, the primary pressure point, and with two targets low on health and no mana, what, I mean, what do you do with Abster as Absturge in this position? You want to activate Avenging Wrath as soon as possible, but I don't think he has the mana to do it. Gladiator's Maledicts are in coming towards Wizke. He fades the second one, immuning its effect and allowing Absurge a little bit more time to breathe, but then Absurge gets interrupted. The third and potentially final Gliders Maledict could close this out. He void shifts to Absurge, but all three members of the team are simply just dying at this point. Yeah, it is a lot of damage coming in from Never Lucky. 16% dampening. Absurge completely tapped on mana. Vendetta play. They're trying to get aggressive over onto Zack, but I don't think they have enough time. Double, double leg sweep comes in from Zack. Pikachu trinkets out. He wants to keep up with the pressure, but Whiskey, he might could just fall right here right now. Absurge throws out the blessing of sacrifice. Colo in a full repentance. Is Valido really going to fall at this point in the game? I just think it's so unlikely as so many of defensive cooldowns. Vampiric Embrace trying to be enough to help out Absurge to keep his team alive. Wiz K doing a good job dealing out a lot of damage. Colo with the way of the crane wants to put the final nail in the coffin onto Wiz K, and I think they have the damage to do so. Never Lucky claimed game number one. Yeah, well played by Never Lucky and little things like that. I feel like Windwalker Monk is one of those classes. If they use their utility, if they use their defensives and their mobility well, it is really difficult to take them down. So the move, they have to be on point using the Blessing of Protection, overwhelming with damage, beautiful crowd control chains. If they can get that done, then they can take down Zach, but I don't think they need to rush it. They just need to have an opportunity where Absurge can push in and start getting that crowd control onto Zach and sort of force out some of those mistakes. All right, let's see if Absturge can carry the team here. We don't see him very often switch off the Shaman, so he's going maybe into some awkward territory on that Paladin class, but I think it's necessary. Peekaboo is going to start things off for us with Blind on Colo into Sap and go after Valido initially, but then switch to Zack, and Zack again just saw that switch immediately, activated Fortifying Brew before it happened and negated that first assault, although it was Fortifying Brew for not very many cooldowns. Peekaboo still has Vendetta, so he could push for a kill there. I do like that they've got damage into two places. It's making it a bit difficult for Colo. Although now Zack is pushing aggressively to kill WizK. Big touch of death hit incoming. Needs to be careful. Dispersion soaks up the hit, but multiple Glyers Maledicts absorb the healing of that dispersion. He's still very low on health. If Zack can just stay on target, they can pull even more cooldowns. They get the Blessing of oh, Sacrifice. Goodness. They get the Avenging Wrath. Right now things are snowballing out of control for the move, and they face elimination. Look at Absurge. He's a ping pong. He's just getting bounced around the wall with both of those Ring of Peace. Very nicely done there. 
by Zach and Colo. Excellently done denying Absurge on those heels. WizK still in a lot of trouble. He's got the Void Shift. Is he going to be able to get it off? But it's Zach that's in trouble. Now we need to see the Blessing of Protection. Is it available? I don't think it is. That would have been the perfect opportunity. Zach really just not running away. He gets full value out of that touch of Karma. Ultimately will survive. Zach all, all over Absurge in this situation. Colo backs him up. Bolito putting decent damage onto WizK. Absurge actually gets interrupted. This could be the Void Shift, but WizK really not going to get solid value out of that if you have to use it on Absurge. Finally buys enough time to get the Divine Shield, but the move, they are running out of options. Zack runs away. Peekaboo switches to Valido. Valido anticipates the switch, activates anti-magic zone. This purple shield protecting Valido. Now they stack up. Zack lands a double stun. It's looking better and better for Never Lucky in this position. The move need to scramble something together. They are known for making miracles. Can they do it here in the lower bracket as they face elimination? They desperately want to earn some points. They most certainly need to qualify to the summer finals because they are so far behind in points in general on the standings. I don't think they can even reliably take that as a route to qualify. So winning the summer finals is basically their only hope. If they lose this early on in the summer season in the first cup, they're going to lose a pretty significant chance to qualify to that event. So if you are a fan of the move, they most certainly need your energy now. Now more than ever, Never Lucky up 1-0 in the series. This game is looking more and more in their favor. There is an opportunity here, Cola with no trinket, but WizK he needs to hold on just a little bit longer. Dispersion gets traded out. He's trying to run for his life. Does manage to create some space. Absurge does manage to find a big heal. And Zach and Cola, they've replaced their portals in a very defensive position. They know that they can just hold on to this game the way it's going. Cola gets caught into repentance. Zach just immediately, instantaneously, transcendence out of line of sight. There is no damage. And now you just have Valido on that Death Knight. He's essentially a tank. He has so much self-healing that it's very unlikely they can take him down with this composition this early on in the game. So I like that. Zach can just run away at any moment. Polito can tank out the damage, keep generating pressure. WizK still in a lot of trouble. Habs are trying to hold on. Great Afraid comes in from WizK. Double Mind Bomb comes in. Into Kitty Shot onto Zach. There's going to be the Touch of Karma, but immediately runs. Zach has really learned his lesson. You use the Touch of Karma, you preemptively, you know, Blessing of Protection is going to come, so you have to run away. The touch of Karma just buys you a split second during those moments of crowd control, but you can't rely on it. And that's the mistake a lot of Windwalkers make. Zach oh not making my. that mistake. And now, once again, Never Lucky, they're able to generate huge momentum off the fact that the move just can't oh. get anything done. Colo anticipated the swap on himself, fortifying Brew during that stun lock, so he's not taking nearly as much damage as if he did not anticipate that attack. Never Lucky are just inside the heads of the move. Perhaps they're just a little bit too shaky on this composition perhaps not enough practice so if never lucky continue predicting their attacks they're just gonna fall behind a mana fall behind on cooldowns and fall behind on momentum it is not looking good for them they're desperate they try to get a kill here on a zach with smoke bomb line of sighting the heels of colo but zach immediately retreats away colo moves in but gets mind bombed on his way of the crane denied totally by the repentance good denial here from the move showing signs of life yeah, but Zach out of line of sight, just healing himself up. They can't get anything done. Valido once again just soaking up all of this damage. Another swap over on Nicole. He might have been a little bit overzealous there. He does have his Trinket and Transcendence to survive, but Colo's mana is not looking great. The move has been doing a good job with consistent pressure in this matchup. Colo Trinket's out. Zach could still be in some trouble. He's trying to run away. Finally, the move starting to generate some momentum in this matchup, but Peekaboo is on a solo mission right now against Zach and Colo behind the pillar. Unfortunately, not able to get anything done, and Zach's actually just going to activate Storm Earth and Fire. He wants to counter pressure Peekaboo the best he can. Peekaboo putting some damage over onto Colo, starting to hit multiple pressure points, as you can see. Never lucky falling a little bit behind. Yeah, softening them up as Zico said in the pregame. Perhaps they can make it through and get a kill with this pressure that they've created. Dampening just starting. Mana for Absturge though significantly in favor, but he needs to survive the stun lock. Peekaboo needs one more second. Blessing of Sacrifice, but I don't believe that it's ultimate, so Peekaboo could still take some pressure. Repentance on the way of the crane. Perfect timing from Absturge that removes the damage and healing from its effect on Colo. Then they stun Colo and make a swap. These are the kind of surprise attacks that we expect from the move. Perhaps it could be enough to take Colo down. He's holding on for now. Whiskey's actually in trouble. Has to use Fade, but Fade has now faded. He's no longer gaining its benefit. Has to disperse. Multiple cooldowns. Colo is still not too healthy. Peekaboo's on the hunt for his life and to put a point on the board to tie this series up. Whiskey is trying to reposition to support, but having a very difficult time with both the Death Knight and a Windwalker hammering away. Dampening continues to rise. Ooh. Colo stunned. Valido's crowd controlled. Whiskey gets Blessing of Freedom. He's moving in to try and get the goal onto Colo. 
Can he stay in line of sight is the question. Doesn't look like it. Perhaps if they can maintain mana into dampening, they can kill Valido. They have a significant mana advantage at this point. The move are looking a lot better in game two. Yeah, Absurge sitting down for that drink. Peekaboo, Wizkay setting him up. That was a huge moment in the game. Absurge has a massive lead down. What is Kolo going to be able to do? Full kidney shot onto Zach. Do they have the damage to take him down? There it is. Touch of Karma. Is there a blessing and protection available? It doesn't look like it. Zach still in the face of WizK. WizK doesn't really have too much to stay alive. He uses the greater fade. Absurge needs to find some healing. We're at 12% dampening, but the damage from Zach and Valido might just be overwhelming. Peekaboo gets disarmed. WizK could easily fall, and that was such a good looking game for the move. I really thought they had it after that drink, but the Divine Shield coming out a little bit too late. Absurge just didn't have the throughput to heal through the Windwalker Death Knight game. Well, during spring, a uh, one game away from security securing the potentially the final game of the day. All right, you don't want to go anywhere. Your crowd favorites the move. You guys bet 91%. 91% of you are about to be wrong. That's a lot of you wrong. And then the other 9%, they're smirking at this point because Never Lucky are are playing basically perfectly at this point in the matchup and the move are looking a bit rusty or maybe inexperienced. They're going to get aggressive though on Colo. This is a bold statement considering their on match point, but they are trying to get aggressive after the healer and put some pressure there. They're getting denied so far in the initial assaults. We see a blind on Colo at low health. Could be an opportunity for Peekaboo to make a move if he can get a sap. He saps Colo. He sets him up for WizK to get in position to deal some damage. They've got both DPS and a Mind Bomb. This is clean setup by the move on a Colo. They don't have a silence. Oh, they go for the Vanish. They go all in. Maybe they can get a kill here. Colo's in a lot of trouble. Glider's mouth. Oh! They get it. Oh, wow. Sets it up. Peekaboo hard carries and keeps the move alive oh, in the tournament. Peekaboo, you legend. That was so greedy from... Oh, maybe not listening, maybe just <laughs> had a revelation himself. He's going to be switching up his talents, and I think it will definitely help him out in this matchup. And it's kind of weird for me, because it seems like the move, they've been favoring the bigger maps, and never lucky, they've been favoring the smaller maps for whatever reason. But theoretically, you'd think Zach would have a much easier time running away on the bigger maps as he is that main pressure point. I think the biggest thing is Absurge is going to have a much more difficult time drinking on the small map, and maybe Never Lucky feels like they can actually win this game on mana, but it is going to be sort of a healer race right now. Valido, Zach, they're going to be trying to take down Absurge here. Peekaboo coming back, trying to defend his Holy Paladin. Whiskey getting out a lot of damage as well. Cole is going to be very susceptible to crowd control in this situation. Can they keep Absurge alive? He has committed a lot of defensive cooldowns. Plus your protection, Avenger Wrath, and Holy Avenger all at the same time with Aura Mastery. It's pretty big overlap. They do remove the touch of karma, but they didn't even get any pressure on Zach. He's still on target. Now Absurge is on forbearance and can't use Divine Shield for some time. Touch of Death has been popped. That's going to be really difficult to heal through. Wizk has to use Void Shift, and now Never Lucky are doing a healer race. Who's going to fall first? Colo in the anti magic zone, but mind oh. controlled at low health. They remove it. Way of the Crane. He needs a couple of punches to heal back up, but Way of the Crane's now over. He has to use Life Cocoon. Both healers under so much stress. Peekaboo Shadow stepping in through the Ring of Peace to interrupt Colo. Colo runs back to the boxes. Wizk is trying to dot up Valido and Zach, but they simply can't be counter pressured away. They're still right on top of Absurge. He needs that Divine Favor heal. He needs it right now, but he's not going for it. Divine Shield instead, now blowing through all of his significant defensive cooldowns. Valido getting repentance. Peekaboo, he has to carry. He has to kill Colo almost all by himself at this point. They're just so far behind. Yeah, this is a really interesting game. Valido over, all over WizK right now, trying to get some pressure rolling. Wants to get back onto Absurge, who really doesn't have too many cooldowns left. Now into a full leg sweep on 50% mana. Colo positioned very far away. Needs to try to keep Zack alive. Paralysis on WizK, denying some of his damage and utility. Zack pre-portals away. He's got 10 seconds left on the touch of Karma. If he can just hold on a little bit longer, Zack can make a very effective all-in push with that touch of Karma. Three, two, one. Now available, so Zack's going to be feeling very healthy with his trinket. I don't think Absurge has a blessing of protection to really deal with that. And now Absurge is kind of a sitting duck. Big damage. Death grip on the life grip. Perfect timing by Valido. All three members of Never Lucky collide. Zach gets life cocooned. All they have to do is stay on target for 10 more seconds. Can Absurge hold on for 10 more seconds? He needs to make it to that Avenging Wrath. Seven more seconds. Blessing of Freedom. He needs to jump Ooh. off the side likely here soon. He's managed to do it two more seconds. He's going to have Avenging Wrath. That's a big healing cooldown. 
cooldown. It's going to allow him to heal through basically any amount of damage in the game. Valido in a bit Ooh. of trouble. This is very surprising. Wow! I actually can't believe it. If Valido ends up going down before dampening, Holo Trick gets blind, gets silenced. Way of the Crane is now faded. Valido is still vulnerable. Peekaboo's trying to carry. He's going to do it. He wow. takes Valido out. The move taken to game five. That's the move, baby. I'm such Peekaboo. Hey, the move with the reverse sweep potentially here on game number five. No matter what, this is the last game of the day. Can Abs Sturge pull out his paladin and be clutch for the move to pull off a victory against Never Lucky, stay alive in the tournament, and keep their dreams of making it to BlizzCon again here in 2019 alive. Colo initially on, trading Gladiator's Medallion and Life Cocoon to sustain Zack's life, but overlapped with Diffuse Magic. You can definitely tell that Never Lucky are shaky here on match point. Yeah, never lucky. What are they going to do? Good pressure on WizK very early on with the stun over onto Absurge. Colo's already traded out his trinket, now into a kidney shot. Pre-fortifying brew. Nicely done by Colo. Anti-magic zone gets traded out as well. And you can tell the move, they are very comfortable going after Colo in this matchup. He's silenced up. What is Colo going to do? Does manage to survive. Way of the Crane gets popped out, but uh, I mean, at what cost? Look at Colo. He's in a full repentance. He's already used basically every single cooldown he has. The next kidney shot could be devastating on him. Yeah, definitely could, but Whiskey at the same time. Oh, oh wonder! Oh. Huge mistakes made here. Can they pull it back together in time to recover? Touch of death now available and accessed. Curious to see if Whiskey just gets blown up by this push. Interrupted on Shadow for one more second. Sacrifice from Absurge, redirecting some damage with Avenging Wrath. Absurge should be pretty comfortable in this position. Now we see crowd control engaged. They're going for Colo's throat in game five. Just want to Ooh. clean this up, take it out of the park, and advance in the lower bracket. Protected by Ring of Peace. Peekaboo's making his way around it, but Chains of Ice is making it very difficult. Colo manages. No, Shadow Step Kick. Well done by Peekaboo. If WizK can get over there and support, looks like WizK is 1v1ing Zach in the midfield. Peekaboo's pressuring Colo, and this is kind of that split strategy that Zico was talking about earlier. They soften up two targets, and then they engage crowd control and go after the weaker one. Right now, they're going gunning down Zack. Nice. nice life cocoon before the smoke bomb. Good read on Colo's part. Ring of Peace denies the connect as well. Colo's getting ready. Peekaboo's moving over. No Gliders Medallion for 13 more seconds. The incapacity of Peekaboo. He can't support WizK. Absurge is having a rough time. Yeah, WizK getting a little bit low. What is he going to do? He uses the greater fade, buying Absurge just a little bit of time. But if we look at mana, Never luck, he's way ahead. They just have to make sure they can hold on a little bit longer. Colo gets double stunned up into a silence. He's trying to roll away. Peekaboo's all over him. Zach playing defense. There's the full blind on Colo. He is not greeting it this time. Immediate snap. Trinket wants to top himself off. He's still got the fortifying brew. He has the way of the crane as well. But this next stun on Colo by Peekaboo. If it gets paired up with a hammer of justice and WizK can get there, it could be really scary. All right, Zach is definitely the target here. No Gladiator's Medallion. Actually, Colo as well could be a target. Peekaboo wants him. Whiskey gets gripped out of line of sight by Valido, so it's just Peekaboo. Whiskey wants to make his way over. He wants to support, end the game, close the match, and take the series for the move in the lower bracket. All of these cleaves, these Death Knights, these Windwalkers, these Demon Hunters, have been a thorn in the side for the move. They haven't been, a figure, been able to figure out a way to take them down, but Change My Mind in the Spring Final showed that the Shadow Priest Rogue can be more than effective. Now, a Adapting their strategies, bringing in the Paladin, and potentially some hope, some light at the end of the tunnel to be able to find victory against all these melee cleaves and advance in the lower brackets. They've got momentum right now. If they can hold on a bit longer, Peekaboo, the playmaker, sitting on top of Colo. Zach comes back to support with Ring of Peace, allowing Colo to stabilize. Good teamwork on both sides. Yeah, Cole had a really nice heads up play. He was able to get the ring of peace down right before kidney shot on himself just, you know, 20 seconds ago. So that's one of the things that allowed him to hold on to some of these cooldowns and ultimately survive. Peekaboo now turning his attention over on to Zach. Absurge, low on mana. Is he ever going to be able to get away for a drink? I think it's really unlikely. Good job here by Zach, by Valido, getting lots of damage rolling onto WizK, using the greater fade. Absurd trying to play catch up, spamming out some holy lights, but this damage, this pressure from Never Lucky is quite significant. All right, Never Lucky, can you overwhelm the move and take it and clean this up? Take the victory that they should have probably gotten two games ago, but the move making miracles. Colo's currently crowd controlled and Zach is on the run. Peekaboo can't connect, Zach is denying it. 
Well done. Good avoidance on his part. With Valido's getting mind controlled. Absurd is moving away to drink. Zach sees Absurd moving and rolls over immediately to deny that. They know that mana is one way to victory. They need to make sure they keep Absurd from drinking. The map was selected smartly and correctly in that regard from Neverlucky, although we think they could have played other compositions. It's obvious that this one is the one they have most practiced on. They've definitely got the advantage in this position if they can keep the pressure up. Peekaboo can't connect. Ring of Peace prevents him. He swings around the other side. Chases down Zach. Absurd snuck into repentance onto Colo. Do they have any crowd control out of it? Doesn't look like it. Colo reconvenes. But he, Peekaboo uses Colo as a shadow step set icon to get back to Zach. That was some clutch timing there on Peekaboo's part. Zach is still low as a result. Nice silence. Colo is silenced. They need to crowd control the way of the crane. They need to crowd control Colo right now. They don't have it. He's able to get some big punches onto WizK. Top off Zach and add a lot of pressure. Absurd just trying to drink, but Ring of Peace is going to pin him. He can't. WizK is very low on health, relying on Vampiric Embrace and Blessing of Protection to stay alive. Absurd certainly has the cooldowns to keep the game going, but does he have enough gas in the tank? Polo uses the revival, that precious three-minute cooldown to keep Zach alive during that smoke bomb. Vendetta's rolling. Zach could be in a little bit of trouble still. Anti-Magic Zone gets traded out by Valido. They want to stay ahead in the matchup. They realize after she's almost out of time. WizK, not many defensive cooldowns really left to work with, but the mind bomb's done on Nicolo into a full repentance. Zach is left all alone. He gets the touch of Karma off. Is there a blessing of protection? Doesn't look like it's available, so Zach should be able to hold on just a little bit longer. Full leg sweep on Peekaboo. Zach still on the run, but the move have forced Neverlucky into a very defensive position. Man, you don't normally want to be playing defense as Windwalker DK. You want to be playing Zug Zug. You want to be running the enemy team down. Can they close this out? It's a match point. Dampening has kicked in. Both teams are totally out of mana. The cooldowns are sparse at this point for both sides. Anybody could take it. I actually can't believe it. Can the move get the reverse sweep three in a row against a melee cleave? that has just been beating them down, beating them so brutally the entire year. Perhaps they can, but this is it. It's their last chance. It's the last game of the day. Absurd is now almost completely tapped, but Colo equally so. Nobody's going to be able to drink on hook point. This one's going to be ending soon, Ven. Uh-oh, kidney shot on to Zach. What is he going to do? Hammer of Justice over on Nicolo. Zach uses the diffused magic and the fortifying brew. Portals away just a few centimeters. Does manage to get out of line of sight. Repositioning his portal. He should be fine. Now WizK is the one under fire. No dispersion, no fade. The last line of defense is going to be that void shift if he really needs it. And Colo is still in crowd control. Keep in mind, he has no trinket, and Zach needs another 13 seconds left on that touch of karma. Can they take him down before nine short seconds? I don't think so. Zach does manage to hold on. He manages to escape. He's got the trinket almost coming up. He's got the touch of karma, and that's going to be the tools he needs in order to survive. Colo buys him a little bit of time with the life cocoon, but now Colo's out of mana. Both these healers running on fumes. Oh, void shift likely necessary here. He void shifts to Absurge. Maybe they switch to Absurge. He catches the Divine Favors, tops himself off. He's got no mana. Vendetta's rolling, but Touch of Karma's redirecting its damage to WizK. Uh -oh. WizK is taking huge hits, and Absurge has no mana to keep him alive. Nothing's left. It's do or die for the move at this point. They've got two members crowd controlled. They try to kill Zack, but he portals away. Valido doing all of the heavy lifting. Colo is still crowd controlled. Peekaboo has to kill Zack before Valido kills WizK. Zack kites across the entire universe, reconnects onto WizK with the Gladiator. It's Maledict. He's oh so my low on health. Goodness. Could be a cross kill. We could be going down to a two Repentance. versus two. Colo is still crowd controlled, but Absurd has nothing left. Zach is doing everything no he can. Way. But no he's way! Left he takes them. Absurd gets stunned up. Zach is on the run, but should he be running? There's no mana left for Colo to recover. I, oh. Oh, I think the move have done it. They've got Avenging Wrath. They just need to cut two Holy Lights, and his team's going to go to full health. Just two Holy Lights. Absurd is waiting for mana, just sitting AFK, hoping to regenerate to be able to talk him off but he's not getting the mana he's not getting the heals touch of death goes off whisk is still in trouble never lucky they've stabilized they've made it through and i, I think whisk is done the move cannot believe it right now zach holds on incapacitate over onto absurd that paralysis from the windwalker monk silence on nicolo zach's getting low but whisk ultimately the one in trouble fists of fury whirling dragon punch closes it out WizK falls and never lucky claims this series, sending the move home. But that was such a well fought series from both teams. Feed versus the fake zebras, wrong side up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played. 
in battle for Azeroth. 